What is up everyone, Nick here with my recap and review for The Dark Knight Returns The Last Crusade. Now this is the long awaited prequel to The Dark Knight Returns, Frank Miller's classic Batman tale from 1986. This tells the story of the last Robin, Jason Todd. Now the story begins with the Joker being put in Arkham Asylum and happy to be back home as the inmates welcome him back. We then cut to news reports that show it was Robin and Batman who put him in there and the newscasters discuss whether or not it's safe for Robin to be active as a child crime fighter. The next day, Bruce and Jason train in the cave and we get to see the interaction between these two characters and the age is starting to show on Bruce. He's starting to learn his humanity, that he is weaker now than he was before, he's slower, he's older, he feels the pain of every blow. Later that night, the two go out to investigate the death of one of Gotham's wealthiest men and fight the Joker gang on the loose in his absence. Back at Arkham Asylum, the Joker is starting to influence more followers to help him carry out tasks around the asylum. The next morning, Bruce tells Selina he feels more human every day and is getting too old for his crusade and that hopefully the Robin might be a suitable replacement for him. That night, another wealthy couple in Gotham are targeted and the husband tries to kill his wife to show his love for her, but Robin and Batman are able to stop him. At the Batcave, Bruce deduces that Poison Ivy might be responsible for these events as they keep targeting males that are older and wealthier in Gotham City. When Bruce and Jason arrive at the next target's location, Jason is told to stay behind and Batman encounters Killer Croc and is nearly killed but the police arrive after Jason alerted them. The next day, the same man that Bruce saved named Langstrom Marks goes to the Gotham Botanic Gardens while Batman and Robin follow him to try and stop Ivy once and for all. During their attack at the Botanical Gardens, the Joker unleashes the inmates of Arkham Asylum on the guards and makes his escape. Batman and Robin are able to take down Killer Croc and Ivy at the gardens but not without Batman sustaining major injuries that put him out of commission. At the Batcave, Bruce is patched up by Alfred and wants to stay to rest even though he knows the Joker has escaped and is out in his city. Jason wants to go after the Joker while they still can and while they still know his location. The story ends with Bruce and Alfred talking about Jason's headstrong nature and Bruce wishing he could train him further from the cave so Jason could take over the mantle of Batman eventually. Bruce thinks this might be a good life. However, Jason goes against Bruce's warnings and sneaks out of the cave with his bat cycle to the Joker's location and is killed when the Joker's gang catches him off guard. Now that is where the story ends and I have to say my first impressions after reading this book were wow this is probably one of the best Frank Miller Batman stories of the past while like I can't even remember the last time that we've had just in general a Batman story of this caliber. I think that the pairing of John Romita Jr. on the art and Frank Miller's storytelling are just you can't get any better than that because these two collaborated before with Daredevil the Man Without Fear which is regarded as one of the best Daredevil stories and now they're back at it again with a Batman story telling the death of Jason Todd in this universe and the reason as to why Batman hangs up his cape and cowl for 10 years and we get to the Dark Knight Returns is the prequel to that story so overall I thought that they did an amazing job characterizing Jason and Bruce in the story and it was really when you look at it a character study about these two and their interactions and how they kind of play off of each other and Batman trying to find a worthy successor for his crusade because he knows that he can't do this forever. He's starting to feel the impact of his one-man war on crime and people around him are starting to realize it more and more that he's just getting too old for this and in this story he has to be in his 40s before he retires so you can definitely tell that there's age on him. Another thing that I really liked about this story is the introduction of Poison Ivy and Killer Croc into this universe who we actually haven't seen in the other Dark Knight books like All-Star Batman and Robin, Dark Knight Strikes Again. They weren't in those comics so so it was cool to see some of the earlier Batman villains before uh, he returned in the other uh, futuristic sort of story. But overall, I really enjoyed this book. I'm going to give it a 9.5 out of 10. I think my only gripes with this would be that we didn't get to see Bruce actually first meet Jason in the story. It's just like we assume that he met him at some point and he's been training him and they've been going out and fighting crime. We don't get to see how he met Jason or the introduction of that character into this universe. And we also don't get to see the actual closing off of this Batman, like why he hangs up his cowl but I guess it's sort of implied in the fact that he goes after the Joker after he finds out Jason died. He goes after a Joker, he beats him up probably till he puts him into a coma and puts him away in Arkham and then he finally ends his crusade there only to return 10 years later. But all in all this is one of the best Batman comics I've read in quite some time and I highly recommend that you guys go pick it up if you're a fan of the original story or you just want a good Batman story because this has got everything for you here. So if you guys got a chance to actually check this book out let me know what you thought down in the comments 
comment section below and post down below if you actually like Jason Todd ever as a character. Like, were you ever a fan of him as a Robin character and do you think that he actually had any promise and potential before he was killed off? If you are new to the channel, hit the subscribe button down there, click the like button on the video because it helps us out a lot. We have a Patreon page you can go check out if you want to support us further. My name is Nick and I will catch you guys next time.